So this is my obsession project lately, my van, and I re redid the kitchen, put in the swivel seat, but this is the kitchen remake, added an outside table um, with a handy light that you can reposition anywhere, as opposed to making an integrated one, and the nice thing about it is it's magnetic. The best part of the upgrade, though, is the kitchen aspect and a fridge that opens up from both sides so I can load groceries from the standing outside and from the inside. I've got my awesome analog IKEA microwave that I house my electric pot. Probably needs to secure a little bit better. Um, 600 watts and 300 watts. Put in a Go ahead and close this. It's a little chilly. It's halfway. <clears throat> put in a drawer to house all my stuff. I was tempted to put a cutting board, still can, that extends this. But the reason why I decided not to, oh, also soft close. The reason why I decided not to for now is because this lagoon table, which I splurged and got, and got the real thing as opposed to a knockoff. Works as perfect counter space, and the piece de resistance is getting my taking the full bulkhead that I had here that had a sliding door, took that out, and in fact, <laughs> put the camera on me, took the bulkhead out, and which allowed me to do two things relocate the fridge that used to be in between the seats on the floor, leveled, because I had a leveling platform on it, uh, just made things really difficult to climb through. What I liked about having the bulkhead was, A, since this is a hybrid work, well, it was a full work truck first, it um, <clears throat> gave me a lot of level of protection so nothing could hit, hit me. But more importantly, it was just level security. You know, being a contractor, your tools are your life. And now your tools are so cheap now that you, it's, they're easy to replace. And um, it's a pain in the ass to replace them, but they're not as expensive as it used to be when I started. Um, but anyway, having the sliding door bulkhead that locked just gave me a, a, a sense of security if I needed to secure my van, whatever. Of course, knock on wood, I haven't needed that. And it seemed more of a hassle not being able to climb in the back easily. And more importantly, the loss of all that space. It really, truly does. So, so with that, I took out the bulkhead um, with the intention of getting a swivel seat. But the seat would not be able to swivel with the, the fridge, the chest-style fridge, in the middle seat. And in between the in the, between the aisles, so now I've turned this. Now I've installed a alpine swivel, uh, alpine swivel seat, which is awesome. And the reason why I got it is because it's the low stack stack height, and I'm I'm short, so um, it all works out great. And what I did was I'm gonna turn a little turn the inside light on also. I. Um, Got the swivel, went ahead and actually installed another platform to level the floor because also killing all these birds with one stone, getting a more functional fridge, getting aisle space, getting a swivel seat, which increases your living square footage. I was able to um, find a level spot, an open spot for my EcoFlow Wave 2 AC unit, which that's like the main thing I want to test this summer in 2024 is racing and and having an ac unit that i'm going to dual vent out the passenger window the uh the other thing i wanted to do was get in put in a arctic turn or arctic turn actually a domatic window because it was cheaper um but over here by the kitchen <clears throat> but what i really like is the security and the privacy again back to security of not having a window here and it's just too tempting for someone to try to smash that window or try to pry it open i had someone try to pry the back door open i've got a deadbolt lock system that's worked great 
uh, for the last decade at plus because I had it in my old truck. Um, but you can't get in here, but the problem is if someone trying to, and they're going to cause damage and, and then eventually give up. And having the slide, the, the swivel seat here, I've got a window now here. Before I didn't have that. It was kind of, I dealt with it camping in the van, um, but it was still kind of cozy, but kind of claustrophobic. But now it's totally opened up because I can slide the seat back, whoa, and have a nice view out the side without having to worry about the security. And if I want privacy, the nice thing is, is I have these insulated curtains that I made from blacked out curtains that are I've, I've lined the inside with a reflective uh, insulation barrier. Not reflectix, but this really neat kind of um, reflective barrier. Uh, the <clears throat> So anyway, other improvements I did to the van were uh, I went ahead and replaced the sink and put in a smaller one. Yeah, I'm not very good at this uh, controlling the gimbal, but I've got a, a deeper sink, deeper depth, and deeper backwise, uh, just larger in general. Same faucet, which I, which I love, and it is a Whalen. Um, very reliable 12 volt switch faucet. So, what it does is when you open the valve, it turns on the pump. So you don't have, and the pump is, is quiet. And the pump, uh, SureFlow, I think I got. And what I did was reuse my handy dandy four gallon uh, semi-translucent tank. And, and I'll do this, one, two, three. <clears throat> a I, semi-translucent tank, which allows me to kind of see the water level. And on its way now here, it'll be here tomorrow, today's Thanksgiving, is I'm gonna put in a um, heating system, a 12 volt heating system. I might do, I might do solar, a solar dump, but right now it's going to be basically on as a STC 1000 temperature control or on off. I'll just do it on demand and have it set thermostatically to like a reasonable temperature, like 90, 100 degrees or something. I don't want to make a bacteria laden, um, <laughs> breeding ground. Cause that's the other thing these that, that's the other thing. It's like if you get a large tank it freaks me out like the stuff that could grow in there um you'd have to have a uv system all this other stuff me it's this is just the work van that i occasionally camp in and and it's a cozy spot so and then kitchen was the biggest improvement made it larger um made it so i could hold the refrigerator and i've always had a microwave but put it rotated everything 90 degrees so they're it's not facing out into the galley <clears throat> the other big improvement was um i'm a ac repairman and i carry a refrigerant and i use my refrigerant rack as part of a like armoire um when i wasn't carrying four drums or refrigerant but now i've got rec rec recouped that and went ahead and built a little uh shelf drawer simple cabinet on top of that um, get get all the functional use got a nice little um, anti-roll paper towel holder which is convenient um, but the biggest improvement was uh, like I said I'm an AC repairman and I have to carry certain like little spray chemicals like penetrating oils and stuff like that my bed sits on this platform and maybe I'll do a video a quick video with it the bed deployed it sits be here about 39 inches high it's 39 inches wide it's the exact same size as a twin bed but the kind of gross thing is the mattress would sit here and, and the spray chemicals would be like right here and so what i finally figured out was to put in sliding doors and that are frosted so you don't have to see the stuff and it just feels cleaner so that's what i'm talking about that's the that's the stuff i'm whoop. That's the stuff I'm talking about. And I had put lights on the shelves for years ago so I could see stuff, and that was a huge improvement. And the other day I went ahead and added a little bit of ambiance light. I'm gonna turn off the main lights, which are connected to the car battery, the van battery. But this is what it looks like um, with just the ambiance lights I put in the back here. If that makes sense, because you can turn them off. That's pretty cool. 
but yeah, it's nice in here now. Oh, and the, the other other improvement is one, two, three, is I went ahead and um, I went ahead and replaced the carpet in here. <laughs> I grew up with a dad. My father was a contractor too, and his first 1970s type creepy Chevy van had a nasty shag carpet in it. So I was always kind of this PTSD about carpet. But carpet now with a low pile in the van is actually not bad. The old one didn't hold that much dirt. I just replaced it because this piece is three feet by 10 feet contiguous. So it's 36 by 120 inches. And in order to just roll it out, because I have hardy board underneath, and I just need to slide heavy stuff that's gonna destroy the floor. I would just roll the carpets up, but this now since this is one contiguous piece, it's a little bit easier to roll up. Plus, it's one contiguous piece. It's easier, easy to replace since it's dimensionally very common, a three by 10 carpet. So that's the other advantage, but yeah, it's great. The other thing is, is for my um, cheap uh, diesel uh, Chinese heater is I have a janky setup of trying to twist the uh, an air duct around the bulkhead and get the air through the sliding door. It worked, it wasn't great. But now I, since I have the seat uh, where it is now and no bulkhead, I can just let the, let the heater vent fan just let it rip and just dumps it straight into the whole back of the van. And uh, so it's really, really, really nice and comfortable back here. No, I love it here. Oh, instead of putting Scirocco fans in, which I've tried, uh, I want I have these rechargeable fans, two of them in here. Three, if you count the um, Ryobi fan here, and I've got tons of fans in this van just because I use them for work and try to stay cool in hot places. But yeah. Oh, the other the other thing is uh, a while ago I found some very inexpensive acrylic mirrors. A set of ten of them, and like probably two of them weren't scratched up, but uh, they were cheap. But what's great about them is it just makes the van feel larger. And yeah, so this is probably one of the few work hybrid race vans you'll ever see, and it's working out great for me. One of the things I added a couple years ago were these little cubbies over the doors the sliding door and the rear how handy they are is debatable but it just adds a nice little um nice little touch and i've got um these aluminum horse trailer vents that uh open outward or inward doesn't matter what what's great about that is when i have the bed back there <clears throat> bed here i can open those vents and turn on my um, I've got this insulated now because we're in winter mode. Uh, I turn on the um, max air fan and it pulls air over my head. It's really, really comfortable. I mean, honestly, the van without AC uh, running is really, really comfortable for um, a long time and it has to be really humid. I've got like some polyester filter material here to try to help clean the air and it does get kind of gross. They are coming through here. In fact, I'll actually leave these vents open and turn the max fan air fan on. I've got the the mid tier one that's not one that's not act, that's one that's not uh, automatic and have it running and have the fan pulling air through the van all day while I'm working. So I come back to a van that's not blazing hot. At worst, it's ambient temperature. So yeah, this is the 10 cent tour of my van. 15 minutes later, but uh, this has been a labor of love and it's turned out way better than I expected. I can't wait to try it, uh, to go race and, and, and try it out. Thanks for watching.